And now we're going to move on to our next segment of the podcast. And we're going to be joined by uh, Paul Sharman, who's going to be talking us through one of his pieces that he's, uh, he wrote a few years ago. And we hope that this piece is going to be particularly prevalent in this time. And the piece of music we're going to be looking at is Everlasting Hope. So first of all, Paul, thank you ever so much for joining us. Matthew, good to be here. And yeah, it's my second, second trip to Fully Scored. Absolutely. It's great to have you back. And we had, of course, in our, oh, let's test my memory now. And I think it was our second or third, yeah, third, third, third episode. Third, third, yeah. we, we had you on for an interview. So it is great to have one of the Fully Scored family back, back with us. So as I said, uh, we're going to be doing an analysis of Everlasting Hope. Now, before we start to look at the music, could you tell us a bit about the context of the piece? Yeah, the piece was written um, at the request of Gavin Lamplow, who's the bandmaster at Birmingham Citadel. Uh, Birmingham was my home core, um, and he, he wanted a piece for the 120th, I think it was, um, uh, anniversary concert. Um, and the idea for the piece was, as well as a, um, a piece for the band, would be a tribute to Gavin's father, Graham Lamplow, um, who had been the bandmaster before him um, and very sadly had been very ill and, and had died um, not long before the concert um, um, was due to be, due to be, uh, due to be, um, yeah, the concert was on. And um, the idea was when Graham was very ill, when people were visiting him in hospital, um, the one line he used to say to them was, strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. That was what Graham would say um, was always the reaction to people um, visiting him, that God gave him strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. So Gavin wanted a piece that would um, encapsulate that really. So using um, little phrases of great is thy faithfulness, but mainly taking the four bars um, from the verse um, that, that, that gave those words. Brilliant. And uh, if we now start to look at the music, uh, first of all, we have the introduction. Could you talk us through the idea of this introduction? Yeah, so the, the, the idea of the introduction, the first, the first two bars are a quote from, from Great Is Thy Faithfulness that comes actually right at the end of the, um, of the melody um, of, of Great Is Thy Faithfulness. So you, that rising and falling, um, Great Is Thy Faithfulness, then that comes again. The idea behind this, as we'll hear later on, is while we're focusing on strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow, actually it's bookended by the fact that God's faithfulness is there all the time. So you've got great as thy faithfulness, that little quote there, which then is repeated, and we'll hear at the end the same thing comes again. Um, so while we're talking about God is with us today, God gives us hope for tomorrow, actually his faithfulness is with us all the time. So that was the idea of using that to get that in people's minds right at the start. Um, and then that introduction flows through um, and leads us into the original melody that we have at letter A. Um, and I think we're going to hear that, um, the, 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 the melody at A now. You, 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 you hear there that phrase is just taken in that I think, 24 bar uh, melody there um, 16 of the bars are really derived from that one um, line of verse and then just sort of playing around with it a little bit so that you get an original melody on the whole but it, it, it does sound like something else that you've heard because you are associating it with those words and it was very much um, that line that I wanted to hang the piece on 
Um, so yeah, this this phrase really, if we're taking the piecing stages, this is the um, strength for today section, if you like, throughout this, and, and that melody um, really tries to encapsulate that at this point. Great and beautifully profound music. And uh, if anyone is interested, the recording that we're using is the Birmingham Citadel Band recording. Of course, it was written for recorded in. 2014 i think one of my first things with the band i think that was and also uh, if you do wish to follow along a score at home uh, in the future you can download the score from the salvation army music index and there is a code i believe for a discount on that if you wish to study this music as well so we've just heard section a uh, now we move into section b could you tell us a little bit about what happens here uh, in section b yeah, so um, as I've said, the piece was it is split up into sections and it was a piece for Birmingham Citadel Band and about Birmingham Citadel Band as well as being a tribute to Graham. And the idea at, at section B, we've moved in from the strength for today's section and, and, and letter B really is looking backwards a little bit, looking those that have um, gone before um, in the band, uh, members of the band that have built it up to what it is today. Um, and obviously now within that we include we include Graham um, as somebody that had put so much into the band, and uh, and this was what we're looking at at letter B. And if you look at the flugel line here at, at section B, um, again it just looks like a um, just those fists going up. But actually, what what the idea there is that I, that is actually the the last post um, put into the minor key. Um, and put across the bar in three, four. So those five, those first four bars in section B are actually the last post in, in concert C minor. Um, which so we, we we're looking backwards. We're looking back um, to those that have gone before. And then to even um, emphasise that even further, the next bar, so bar five, where the euphonium and the flugel horn come in, um, that is. Um, a quote from Sine Nomine, so for all the saints who from their labours rest. Again, quite well disguised and probably without knowing that you wouldn't automatically pick it up. But it was there because we're looking at, at, at those people um, that had gone before. And I think it's worth saying that I think in the initial discussions about the piece, there was perhaps talk of uh, multimedia photographs going, going up above it. And, and at that point whereas section A was the strength of today, looking at the band today, section B is very much looking back at those that have gone before. Great. And let's have a listen to section B now. So that leads us into section C, and we have a key change there. Could you talk us through what happened in this section? Well, in section C, this is really, it's a transitional um, point in the piece, both, both for the key and also if we're looking at the theme of the piece, it's taking us from today, from the past, and it's taking us in, forward into the future. So section C takes on the rhythm of, of what we've had in the trombones at section B, so we have that in the cornets, and then we have the euphonium on the high um, solo line there, which is, again, the reference to, to the main theme um, that we have there. And then the horn takes that over. Um, but that the rhythm is supposed to be, again, pushing us forward, pushing us into, into the future. Um, and again, with that in mind, um, if you look at the trombone and the euphoniums, uh, four bars, before section D, um, that again there is a very old disguised um, version of "We'll keep the old flag flying." Da -de -de -da -da -de -da. Um, so we'll keep the old flag flying. So there we we we're looking at people into the future. We've had in in the past, and, and the current band and and the young people's band are going to take this into the future. So we have um, we'll keep the old flag fl we'll keep the old flag flying. And then the two bars before section D, again, well dis disguised, is on we march with the blood and the fire. Da -da -dee, da -da -dee, da -da -dee. Um, which 
it's taking us forward. And at this point, it feels like we're just going to rest back into the key of, um, of concert B flat, sorry, concert A flat. And in fact, what we do there in that modulation, or lack of modulation really, it steps up into section D into concert B flat. Um, and again, the, the reason for that is that sudden step and that lift, it gives us that hope, I think, um, I hope when you hear the music that it, it builds us to there, you think you're going and actually it lifts. And it's that, oh, it's that moment where you think, oh, we, we're going somewhere here. And it is very much um, taking us into the future and, and that bright hope that we have for the future. Again, if we were looking at what would have been on the screen, um, I was thinking here, this is the YP band. This is those taking us forward into the future. Great, thank you. And as you said, then we're lifted into this key change um, in the score with Mark's Grandioso at D. Could you talk us through what happens in this section? Well, se section D really is, it, it's, the, um, it's the main theme again that comes again almost in its entirety, but it is in a much more upbeat, a, a much more grandiose style, much more majestic style um, with some little fanfares from the, from the cornets and the trombones. Um, just trying to give that sense of hope you know, God is with us, so we have hope um, for, for our future. And so that, that takes us through all the way through into section E, when we're still going with this strength of today and bright hope for tomorrow theme. In section E, the first four bars, that comes back again. But this time, instead of reverting for, to the theme, we have um, great is thy faithfulness, Lord unto me. Okay, so in the four, in the four bars before section F, um, the, the melody carries on as you would have expected it to in the, in the original tune of Great Is Thy Faithfulness. And that's where it ties up from the beginning. So from the past, in the strength of today and in the hope for tomorrow, God is in that and God's faithfulness um, is, is with us throughout everything. Um, and I think that's why, why this sort of piece at this time, um, hopefully... Um, can be something that people will listen to and get something out of because we need strength for today at this time and we know that God will give us hope for tomorrow. So, so that, that phrase, at that point, it becomes that personal, great is thy faithfulness, Lord unto me, um, as we go into section F. And, a very... and then really section F is just that little coda where there's a couple of um, little references, so the trombones have the um, reference to the main theme there, um, and then finally trombones and euphoniums um, with that great is thy faithfulness um, reference in the last two bars, tying it up, I think, neatly from what we've had at the beginning um, to take us into that final chord. And as you said, an, a really, really poignant and perfect message for the situation we find ourselves in, that no matter what we face today, there's a bright hype for tomorrow. Uh, before we move on, let's listen to that last section. 